Buzzsprout versus Anchor, which is the best podcast host platform for you. Hi guys, welcome to another video and today I will be comparing Buzzsprout versus Anchor, which is the best podcast host platform for you. So from this video, I will be comparing its features, pricing, and functionality. And lastly, I will help you decide if which from these two platforms suits for your needs. So without further ado, let's get started. So both Anchor and Buzzsprout can be used to host and distribute a podcast easily, but these two platforms has their differences. So to check their differences and to start with, for Anchor, visit anchor.fm. This is the Anchor homepage. So when you scroll down, you can see here that these software look more professional than the Buzzsprout. So visit buzzsprout.com and this is their homepage. So when you scroll down, you can see that their homepage is too simple. And going back to Anchor here, let's check the features. So Anchor will give their users these following features. First, you can get free and limited podcast hosting and streamline your content distribution, especially to Spotify, the most popular audio streaming and podcasting app nowadays. Second, from Anchor, you can get insightful and clear analytics from Spotify too. Third, you can also monetize your content or podcast. And lastly, you can have convenient creation tools like recording tools to capture audio straight from your phone, tablet, or computer and sync them across all devices. Or you can import existing audio or video. You also have your video podcast on Spotify. Just upload your content on Anchor and create a podcast that fans can watch or listen on Spotify. And also intuitive episode building. Easy to visualize, building blocks of audio segments don't require any editing. Record your audio, arrange your segments, add transition, and you're set. You also have exclusive Spotify music integration to add some music, collaborate with co-host, guest, and listener. And lastly, cover art creator. Here you can generate custom cover art in seconds using images and fonts to help ensure your podcast has an eye-catching cover. So compared to Buzzsprout when it comes to its feature, Buzzsprout is way better than Anchor. Buzzsprout can get your podcast listed in all of the top podcast directories. Here you can reach more potential listeners for your podcast content by listing your podcast to different app like App Podcast, Spotify, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Alexa, and more. Plus, for their statistic, they have advanced podcast statistics to track your progress. They also have automatic episode optimization. With this, there's no need for you to worry about file type. Just upload any audio file. Then Buzzsprout will optimize your episode automatically. Publish your episode immediately or schedule the day and time you'd like your episode to go live. You also have dynamic content features here. It lets you add and remove pre-rule and post-rule segments to and from your podcast episodes. Send a message to all of your listeners regardless of the episode they are enjoying. And also transcribe your episode inside Buzzsprout to make your episode more accessible to search engines, speed readers, and people who are hard of hearing. They also have podcasts here for you to listen, to learn more, and grow your podcasts, and many more features. So unlike Anchor, they only have basic features and only support Spotify. However, Anchor can be the best software to use if you are just beginner or starter and not yet sure if podcasting will be the thing that you will be focusing to. Or if you're just testing podcasting, then Anchor can be the best option for you because Anchor is totally for free. So there is no need for you to spend any money for you to try podcasting. But the downside is that you will only get basic features for podcasting and the quality of your audio or recording is not that high quality, but the quality is fine and acceptable. Limited statistic or analytics and also Anchor only support Spotify. Unlike the Buzzsprout that they have different top 
podcast directories to distribute your podcast. So the Buzzsprout app has a great features and the quality of the recording and audio is so much better. But with this, you must pay for it. Here under pricing, Buzzsprout has four different plans. First, they have free plan but it only limit for up to two hours per month and it still include advanced statistics and unlimited team members and if you need to upgrade the plan to remove ads you can the next plan is $12 per month and you can upload up to three hours of podcast per month and everything from the free plan included ads removes and also you can import podcasts for free then the next plan is $18 per month for up to 6 hours of podcast per month. And lastly, $24 per month for up to 12 hours of podcast per month. Plus, if you want to upload more content, then you can for only $2 per hour. And down here, you can also add Magic Mastering. This feature allows you to automatically mix and master your podcast episodes to improve your audio quality without adding a ton of extra work. And each plan has their different pricing. For example, from the second plan here, or paid plan, $6 per month to $9 per month, and the last one is $12 per month. And you may also get a transcriptive podcast here. If you want to get these features, you just need to add 25 cents per minute of your podcast. So aside from the free account, each plan here comes with a free trial for you to try the software and its future for free. So for my conclusion, this is just my own opinion, guys, based on the information I shared earlier. So Anchor can be the best tools to use for a starter who wants to try the podcasting and see if it's something that you will love to do and focused, especially if you don't want to spend anything yet because Anchor is a free software and you can have all the basic features that you need to start your podcasting. But for those who tried podcasting before and you look for a podcast host to grow and improve your podcasting, then I recommend you to use Buzzsprout since this software has good features for you to create good quality podcast where you can also share it to many different podcast directories such as Spotify, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Alexa, and many more. Plus, they have advanced statistics to record and track your progress as well. So I guess that's all for today's video about the comparison between Buzzsprout versus Anchor. So I hope that this video helped you decide if which is the best platform for you to use for your podcasting host. And if you have any question, guys, just don't hesitate to comment down below and thank you so much for watching.